Welcome back to another vlog from the only YouTube film review channel that offers you the snap of critical rigour. And it's time to turn to the biggest film of the year, taking $377 million on its opening weekend, despite the snarky, snobbish reviewers like me giving it a bad notice. It's a success in spite of the pampered liberal elite, and that's the Super Mario Brothers movie, based on the famous Nintendo game. Now, films or TV dramas based on games don't have to be terrible, as proved in various ways by Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, and there was also The Last of Us. Even the Angry Birds movie wasn't too bad. The trick is usually to make it look as if the game was based on the movie or TV show, rather than the other way around. But the Super Mario Brothers movie is absolutely terrible, visually bland in ways that reminded me of European knockoff animations, and utterly inert in narrative terms with a baffling lack of properly funny lines. Just the look of this film is depressingly bad. It is of course based on the global video game phenomenon born in the 80s from Kyoto-based gaming giant Nintendo, with its wackily eccentric idea of Italian-American plumbers, Mario and Luigi, called the Super Mario Brothers. But surely, Mario is not their surname, is it? It's like Dostoevsky inventing a video game called the Brothers Dimitri. This movie revives their ancient and surreal quest. Mario, voiced by Chris Pratt, and his brother Luigi, voiced by Charlie Day, are two plumbers in Brooklyn who only do the silly and borderline offensive cod Italian voice for their cheesy TV ad. They find themselves transported into an undreamt of Oz-type other world through the New York sewers. Mario is in the Mushroom Kingdom, where he must gallantly rescue Princess Peach, voiced by Anya Taylor-Joy, from evil fire-breathing turtle Bowser, voiced by Jack Black. But this summary is basically meaningless. There is no plot. There are some zany and ingenious panning right 2D obstacle sequences pastiching the gameplay action as if by accident. But then once the brothers have left planet Earth, the game dimension has to be repeatedly cumbersomely and boringly crowbarred into what passes for the story itself. And unlike the brilliant Lego movies, there is a fierce insistence on not being funny about any of this. Like Mrs. Brown's Boys, like Crystal Meth, like the best-selling novels of Geoffrey Archer, the Super Mario Brothers movie is a big commercial success, but that doesn't mean you have to like it. Once again, it is time to lower the curtain on another vlog. Please give it a like and a share on social media, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And don't be one of those people who say, oh, I'm not sure whether or not I want to subscribe, or that's surely up to me. Look, you're not impressing anyone with that sulky, brattish approach. So lose the attitude and subscribe. And also buy my book, The Films That Made Me, an edited selection of my essays and reviews for The Guardian. See you next week.